welcome back to another video in the last one we looked at how to install bootstrap or how to add bootstrap to our application using the cdns and in this one we will be looking at how to install crispy in our application and make our forms look much better all right so by the end of this video we will change the look of our form from this to this with crispy forms all right is one of the easiest way to change the look and feel of your form in Django. So if you are not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss videos like this. Now before we do anything, let's look at how our application looks. I'm going to open add items. So this is the current look of our forms, which is not really bad. Okay, so I'm going to open Sublime. I'm going to expand the stock management app and then go to templates under add items instead of our form being in a straight line i want to break them into paragraphs okay so i'm gonna have category then item names and the quantity below item names you can do that by adding dot sp onto the form to make it look like a paragraph as underscore p save it and if I do a refresh, so our form is kind of staggered and it's not looking good. So we're going to add crispy to fix this. All right. So as usual, all the codes are on the blog side and I'm going to scroll down to the um, stock management project and then click how to add crispy forms to Django. All right. So we have about five simple steps. The first step is to install crispy forms in our application. So I'm going to select this and then paste it in the terminal. I'm going to split my terminal. Okay, so I will need to activate the environment. And then paste the command right there. Okay, so that will download crispy forms and then install them in your application or in the environment. Okay, so now once that is done, we will move to step number two, and that is to add crispy forms to the install apps. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and then paste it in install apps in settings.py so i'm gonna expand the project Django project go to settings i'm gonna paste crispy form right there okay save it so i'm gonna add crispy template pack bootstrap 4 so if you can remember in the last video we added bootstrap 4 to our application so we're gonna use that as our template pack copy and then paste it below static url it can be anywhere but i usually paste it all the way down so i'm going to save it and then move to step number four which is to load crispy form tags in the templates where you want to render the form or where the form has been rendered right in our case is the add items okay so i'm gonna copy this and open add items so just below the static files i'm gonna paste the crispy form tags we're gonna load the crispy form tags so that we can use the tags right in our forms okay so this is the form that we have here form.rsp i'm gonna change it to form pipe crispy okay so if i refresh that is step number five there if i refresh on this application you can see that will fix the look of the site so this is all you need to do to add crispy forms to your application but I want to show you something before I end the video. What I want to do is I will go back to the models. This is not part of crispy. You just want to show you something and then change the blank to false for the category. And then do save. So now you can see with the crispy, I have this field is required. You can see it even highlighted the fields and put this exclamation mark right there to show you that this is required. So without the crispy apply to the form, look at how that looks. I'm going to undo and I'm going to take it back to form.rsp and save it. Do a refresh. So you can see how all of this is looking. So if I add few more requirements to the form and I will change this one also to false. Do a refresh again. We have this field is required this field is required for the user of the application it will be really difficult for them to identify which field this is about okay but with the crispy so i'm gonna save that back to crispy so i fix back the crispy i'm gonna do save again or do a refresh 
so look at the difference there okay so this is how to add crispy to your application if you enjoyed this video click on the thumbs up button if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next one